Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we will be taking a closer look at Jimmy Lugwinch, which was first released in 2021 Singles Case J. So yeah, I got this particular one from the Smith's Toy Superstore and then this particular one from my fellow UK friend Jen Dams. So there is packaging differences for UK and the US over in that side of the world. So first of all we are going to take a close look at both the packages and then we'll take a close look at him out of the box with you. So this is the US packaging and this is the UK packaging. So straight off the bat there is some differences like the Mattel logo is probably a bit smaller and a bit bigger. As you can see Jimmy Lugwrench is both there. The die cast will be the exact same just that the packages will be different. We can see the new for 2021 logo is different as you can see. More new languages of course. The artwork for Jimmy Lugwrench, the Cars logo, Mattel logo. So as you can see, here's a closer look at his packaging. Pretty cool. On the back, we can only see one die cast, whereas on the US packaging, we can see a whole bunch of other cars in previous cases. And another new feature for the international packaging is that Mattel logo down here. So that is all for, of course, the review of Jimmy Lugwrench in the box. I'll be right back with this one out of the package for you guys. So here is Jimmy Lugwrench all out of the package and I've got to say I really do like this legend race. It looks pretty cool in that white, pearl white colour. But before we do get on with this review of him out of the package, we have to add a movie picture where he appeared in of course Cars 3, racing against Doc, Louise Nash, etc. So that's where he appeared. Now we'll get on to his review and then compare him to some other cars that look familiar to him. They've got this nice silver bumper at the front here, as you can see. Looks pretty cool. He's got a nice smiling expression. And we've got the grill here. Two red lights, which are massive. We can see his tongue and eye expression. Brown eyes. On the hood, it reads Jimmy Lugwrench up here. His signature and a 26. Pretty nice. On the back, or actually on the side we'll go to first, we can see an arrow which is of course a clock here which is pointing this way trucking and shipping pretty cool nice rims massive 26 in the middle here we've also got some words here sunset lake north carolina so which is pretty cool oil company again we've got a little logo there which i cannot read for some reason fuel cap down here i believe or a light on the back we can see 26 oil company pretty cool we've got jo4-1ok we can see some other words and here is the base made in the 18th week so that is all for jimmy lugwinch i'm quickly going to compare him to jodon jackson for you guys the brown paint job which looks pretty cool they look roughly the same as you can see Here are the two bases. And one other one I did want to compare him to was, of course, Louise Nash, who looks roughly the same. As you can see, she is a bit longer. So, that is all for the review of Jimmy Lagrange. What I'm going to do now for you guys is that I'm going to take some photos for you, and then I'll be right back with the outro. Thank you to everybody who watched this far on the view of Jimmy Lugwrench. Uh, comment down which one of these two do you like the most, Jordan Jackson or Jimmy Lugwrench, and comment your thoughts. If you are new to the channel, subscribe, leave a like, um, hit the bell notification down when you blow, when you do subscribe. Till next one, peace guys.